Triona, but you, yes, you, you could call me Cat Ram. Welcome to my channel. I've been seeing a lot of people doing 10 things I can't live without. Not that you care. But I decided to do 10 things I can't live without. When I think about things, I think about material objects that I can buy. This doesn't include human beings because you can't buy humans. At least, I don't think you can. I had to really think deeply. I'm really not materialistic, so this was very hard for me. It took me at least two weeks to narrow down things that I cannot live without. These items are actually in order from least important to most important. So I'm starting with number 10. Number 10 is my toothbrush. I cannot live without my toothbrush. I love my electric toothbrush, but I love my regular toothbrush as well. I can't live without my toothbrush. Come on, your teeth are important. It's the first thing that like, people notice, your teeth. So that's why it's very important to have a toothbrush. Number nine, my glasses. Now, I pretend like I don't really need them. I look sexy, don't I? <laughs> I need them though, because even though I can see, they help me see just a little bit more crisp. So I can actually distinguish things much better, very fine details. So what happened is I have an astigmatism, and so one of my eye lenses is a little bit crooked. I look cute in these, don't I? Mm, I should wear them more often, but yes, I wear them daily, so I had to put them on the list. Number eight is something I don't have an actual example of right now. I mean, it'll kind of be weird, but I cannot live without fish. Okay, I love to eat fish. I live on an island surrounded by water, so it's, uh, it's kind of like an inherited trait that you must love fish. But a lot of people here don't love fish, but I love fish. I love fish. I can eat fish every day. I can eat fried fish, baked fish, grilled fish, stewed fish, steam fish. It doesn't matter. I just love fish, kingfish. Tilapia, no, I don't really like tilapia, it's kind of slimy. Number seven is lemons. I love lemonade, I love putting lemon on my fish, I love putting lemon in my fish broth. I just love lemons, I love making lemonade and all those kind of things. <sighs> I just can't imagine not putting lemon on things like fish, chicken, um, in my fish broth and stuff, I must use lemons at least, at least four times a week. So lemons are very important to me. I love lemons. I even like use them under my arms, you know. If you're stinky, this will help cut the scent. And as well, you can brush your teeth with lemon and baking soda and it makes your teeth look whiter. So I recommend lemons, I love lemons. Number six. X roll on. This one is kilo. Okay, listen, it's kind of weird that I would like a male deodorant, but I love it because it keeps me smelling good. This is my favorite one. I love the smell. <sighs> it does something to me. I don't know. If a guy smells like this, I usually want to like sniff up on his armpits a little bit. I know that's kind of weird, but it's my little thing. I like to smell armpits. <laughs> I know it's weird for a woman to like a male deodorant, but I just feel it helps keep my perspiration down, keep my body odor down. I think my pH balance must be a little bit high. So this is why this one works very good for me and it'll keep you dry. You won't be having those wet armpits and yellowing armpits. No, no, this is it right here. Number five is Milo. 
I don't know if you know about Milo, but I love Milo. I love, some people think it tastes disgusting. The first thing I'll drink in the morning is a cup of Milo. I'll just make a little cup of Milo. I don't put milk in it. I just put two tablespoons of Milo and some sugar in some hot water. And for some reason, that just makes me feel a little bit more ready to face my day. You know, like some people have to drink coffee. I like Milo. Sorry, but I like Milo. It tastes great. Some people like Ovaltine better. Some people like Nesquik. I like Milo. It's something I can't live without. I must go through like a can of this like every two weeks or something. I, I just love Milo. I drink it every day. It's sad. I would also drink lemonade, Milo, or water. That's it. Number four, you can technically buy pets. So I love my pets. Panda, come here. Ugh, oh, this is gonna take forever. Usually Panda comes when he's called. Panda, come here, honey. Come here. You're a good boy. Come here, honey. <laughs> oh, sorry, I hurt you. No! Oh. Oh. I love my pets. This is Panda. He's the first cat I ever had that comes when he's called. You sweet, why don't you love me? Oh, are you looking at other things? Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Panda's so beautiful. But I love my Astro too. I have two cats, Astro and Panda. She's not gonna come. But Panda's cute, I love him. You're a good number four. So number three is a necessity for a homebody. It's my bed. I love sleeping. This is no shocker. For somebody like me who stays home 24 seven, I work from home and everything, my favorite thing at home is my bed. I don't go anywhere. I'm just home sleeping in the bed all the time. And that's okay, because I love my bed. Number two on my list is my Clarisonics. My Clarisonic Spate. <laughs> Number two on my list is my Clarisonic face brush, spring brush. Uh, I love this thing. I use it twice a day, every day. I must keep it charged. I must travel with it. It's very important to me and it keeps the oil and the acne at bay and the dead skin. I love it. So that's why I use it and that's why it's on this list. My phone! Number one is my phone. I cannot imagine living without my phone. If I even misplace it for about five seconds, I'm like, where did I put my phone? And mine, I'm home all the time. So it has to be in the house, but I'm all over the house searching for it. I like to watch Netflix, YouTube. I like to listen to music and all those kind of things. So my phone is very important to me. It's how you keep connected to the world these days. You always have your device that you can make emergency calls or go online and you know, it's something that takes away your boredom. So I love my phone. I don't have it with me right now. It's on the bed and I'm looking at it like, how come I didn't bring that shit over here? but I love my phone. So there you go. That's my list of the top 10 items that I cannot live without. So kittens, how did you enjoy the video? Prrrr in the comment section down below. Scratch that like button and share this video to show support. Don't forget to join the kitty litter by subscribing. Prrrr. Bye. I'm about to go dive right into that phone right now. <laughs>